welcome to the grand finale of the FIA European Rally Championship 2017 and the battle between reigning champion Kajetan Kajetanovic and his challenger Bruno Magalhaes must be decided here in Latvia. Having covered thousands of kilometers since Mard, the championship travels from Rome to Lepaia for its climax, and it's the gravel of the Baltic coast that is the playground for Europe's rallying challenges. A very 21st century event, a festival of speed, hosted in Latvia's third largest city, famous for its fresh sea air. And out in the countryside, among the dense surrounding forests, which have tested drivers since rallying started here in the 1960s, this can only be Rally Lapaya. The season kicked off back in March, and Bruno Magalhaes took advantage of home support to win in the Azores. And the championship moved onto the sealed surface of the Canary Islands for round two, and it was the Russian Alexei Lukanov who dominated the event. Round three in Greece and on the rough stuff, Kajetan Kajetanovic finished three minutes ahead of everyone else. The summer sunshine of Cyprus was next up, and two-time Dakar winner Nasser Alassia claimed a fifth record victory. After the summer break, we moved back onto tarmac and onto Poland, with the asphalt roads proving perfect for Brian Bouffier, where the Frenchman claimed victory. Round six with another sealed surface rally of the Czech Republic, and local hero Jan Kopecki was the star of the show, taking another win. Next up, it was Rome, and a thriller. It all came down to the last stage decider. However, Brian Bouffier came out as victor, just 0.3 of a second ahead of Katanovic. So Kaito has pulled out a 24-point lead, but he's not safe yet. As we go down to the wire, Bruno Magalhaes is still a threat to his overall victory this season. The title fight has to be settled here in Latvia, on the Baltic Sea coast. So let battle commence. The rally is spread over two days. Leg one consists of five stages out to the east of La Praia before heading into the city to entertain the fans with a street stage wrapping up leg number one. Separated by 24 points, with 39 points available this weekend, it's either championship leader Kajetan Kajetanovic or second place Magalhaes that will walk away with the 2017 Drivers' Trophy. Uh, to be honest, I feel uh, a little bit of pressure uh, because this is a very important event for us. I'm shaking, as you see. Second place is good, but of course the first is better. So uh, I know that it will be very difficult, but I have a chance So because of that I'm here. This is my, my main uh, goal, to be a champion third time. Yeah. And we are really close to this. So. It's like a dream come true, of course, because after I was three times uh, Portuguese champion, I tried the international career, and now I'm for sure I'm a better driver than in the past. I love uh, fast driving, I love adrenaline. This is my life. Kaito is a fantastic driver, two times European champion. It's difficult to fight with him, but you are here, you are fighting, and for sure I'm very happy. It's gonna be uh, hard, tough, but it's a great feeling to be here to fight uh, for the victory. I wish him all the best. He's a very good guy. He's a fast driver, very clever. I feel big respect for him. If I can achieve uh, my dream, in the, in the season like that, it's completely crazy. So if I can do this, it's amazing, for sure. Uh, I will be here or Bruno. Let's try. <laughs> Looks good, huh? <laughs> yes, I want to be here third time.
There are also other titles up for grabs this weekend in Latvia. And ERC2 is also yet to be decided. There are just four points separating Zalindo Melagari and Tibor Erdi. In ERC3, it's Chris Ingram has a slender one-point lead over Philip Mares. However, the roles are reversed in the junior category where Mares is ahead as Greece and Cyprus weren't part of the competition. Also, we have to decide the team's championship as Castrol Team Turkey have a 17-point advantage over the ACCR Czech team. But that's not enough to make them safe, so it's all to play for this weekend. The atmosphere was building in Lapaya despite the rain not dampening the opening ceremony. Fastest in the qualifying stage was young Finnish driver Kale Rovenpera. He opted to start sixth on the road. Kajetanovic in the title fight was faster than his rival but decided to start fifth on the road. And his main opposition Bruno Magalhaes qualified ninth and will start tenth on the road in leg number one. As for the Russian driver Alexei Lukanuk, he'll start in third place. Here in Lapaya, enjoying the ceremonial start was Latvia's Minister for Finance, Diana Renizes. We do love love it, and every time we do have this kind of a race, the government members are coming and enjoying uh, at the very top level. The families are coming, you would see a lot of children as well. I mean, um, they are amazed by the race and uh, by the passion that uh, the, the drivers put in it. And uh, me, myself, I'm a chess player, so my wish would be that not only the fastest, but the smartest should win this race. <laughs> I love sports, I know uh, the, how much energy you need to spend for your work, so you need to charge it somewhere, and uh, this kind of sports events, it's a great place to charge your energy for the work. After the late night, it was time to start the rally proper and get it stuck underway. Three stages in the morning, some of which would be quite wet and very, very slippy after the overnight rain. However, conditions have improved for the start of leg one. It's dry and sunny at the moment. The temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. Lopez. Peugeot was ready to go and get stuck into the first stage. Unfortunately, stage two and five were shortened due to the bad weather. However, Pepe was faster than expected, but Peugeot had fitted a short-range gearbox, meaning they were regularly hitting the limiter. They might need to change it in service. Well, a bit disaster because we make a uh, school mistakes. Uh, we don't have the, the correct uh, ratio of the gearbox and we are Breaking you all the straight, so it's uh, a bit uh, difficult for us to manage this, but that's what we have. Trista. He can seal third place in the championship here. He just needs to keep calm and get to the finish. But he's also pushing here. Alexi knows this surface well, but it's the first time he's been here in the R5 Fiesta, normally driving the Mitsubishi in ERC2. Трамплина длинный 40. Левый один за трамплин и 40, правый 4 плюс. Third in stage one, and then fastest in stage two, and then third, becoming the man to beat in this rally. Maybe pushing a little too hard, but that's Alexi's style. Pretty exciting to be back here. Actually, on the wreck, I thought it's too straight, but uh, when you drive it uh, in the car, it's so exciting. So just okay. Another Russian driver is certainly quick on this surface. Nikolai Gryazin was fast straight out of the blocks this morning, looking like a real contender this weekend. He was fastest on stage one, setting a time of five minutes and 36 seconds through the opening test in Le Paya. He was then a little bit slower on stage two and dropped down to third overall in the standings. 
and second quickest on stage number three. But he's certainly keeping the fight at the top at the front of the rally. In the battle for the championship, the heavyweights got underway and Kajetan Kajetanovic, who had the upper hand, the current and double ERC champion wants to make it a triple championship win this weekend, going down to the wire in Latvia. He was fifth fastest in stage one ahead of Bruno Magalaj, also fifth quickest in stage number two, but tries to play safe and very cautious in the stages. He needs to get home ahead of Bruno Magalaj this weekend to seal that championship. Titans finding it hard to balance between playing safe and his instinct to attack. Yes, I'm trying to, to keep concentration, but it's not easy because, as you know, uh, it's hard to drive uh, when you are thinking on every corner about the finish. This is his first international rally for the talented 17-year-old Kali Rovenpera, who is also quickest in the qualifying stage and son of former World Championship driver Harry Rovenpera. We've had our eye on Kali for quite some time, but only passing his driving test earlier in the week. And as on the stages he was showing, he was no fluke. Despite having to contend with a broken handbrake, he was still quick in stage one, two and three. Yeah, we have some problems with the handbrake and uh, there is some tricky places on the stages where you need that and we are losing some time. And uh, we have to make now some setup stages because uh, it's not going so well. But uh, for me, it's uh, quite good start. start. Second in the ERC Championship at the moment, Bruno Magalhaes was into the stage and was seventh place and only four seconds behind Kaito. But for the Portuguese driver, it's been a dream season so far, starting every rally. He was only going to do his first rally of the season in the Azores, however he win that secured and then found funding for the rest of the season. It's a very enjoyable uh, morning, uh, difficult. We, ne we need to accept that everybody who comes here for the first time is difficult. And I will, I'm going to try to, to improve in the, in the second passage. And uh, that's it, uh, everything is open. One of several Latvian drivers in the event was local star Renes Nitis. A star of the World Rallycross circuit, but not wanting to miss out on the massive event here in Latvia. Awesome. Making a little mistake, going left instead of right at a road junction in the first test of the day. And however, he was 38 seconds behind Gryzen after the first loop. Three stages down in Latvia, Lukanuk's leading, Gryzen second. Kali Rovenpera from Finland is third overall. So Alexei Lukanuk has made a strong start, but what's going to happen next as the ERC continues its final round of the season on the loose stuff in Latvia? Welcome back to Latvia, where the city of Lapaya is the HQ for the eighth and final round of the 2017 European Rally Championship. This is the ERC and a beautiful Saturday afternoon on leg one. Stages four and five are a repeat of stage one from this morning. And then two street stages running through the streets of Lapaya to wrap up leg number one. A really beautiful countryside this, but let's see what's happening in the Junior Championship. In the ERC Junior Under-27 Championship, it's also a four-way fight to finish, with Zawada, Maris, Hudtunen and Ingram all within 18 points of each other. We've got four drivers fighting for the title here. All of us want it probably equally as much. Well, I think I want it more. I'm not under pressure. I think maybe Yari and Chris uh, are uh, under pressure. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure, really. Not me. <laughs> because nobody expected at the start of the season I, I will be in the fight for championship, so it's a bonus for me. This rally is going to be really important, obviously, and, and it's going to decide who, who finally gets to, gets to hold that cup, so um, hopefully it'll be me, but uh, I realise that it's, it's not going to be easy, um, and we just got to push as hard as we can. This level is so, so high. So we need driving uh, maximum attack all the time. Yes, I want to be something, of course. 
it's the opportunity to, to win the championship and I am a fighter, so I, I want to win. We're ready to fight. Gonna go for the aggressive style this weekend. I've got not much to lose and a lot to gain, so big attack. To lift that trophy would be the best thing ever. So it's a great start to local and young driver Martins Sex from Lipaya, winning two of the four stages, the only Latvian driver in his class. Son of the mayor of Lipai, he's making a real name for himself, but a big, big role in stage number five. The crew are okay, but the car looks a bit of a mess after that, but mechanically, it's working well. We would say he didn't hit it hard, but he hit a lot of it. Give me the two Alex Zarada had a retirement on the last round in Rome, dented his championship hopes, but not feeling 100% confident here despite getting the budget together for a last gasp attempt on the championship this season. Hitting a post in stage number three, but no mechanical damage there. As for Philip Maris, the surprise package of 2017 proved his ability with a class win on the last round in Rome, but gravel is not his favorite surface. A very cautious start for Chris Ingram, but finding his pace narrowly missing winning the junior title in 2016 here. His new co-driver, Ross Whitlock, seems to be keeping Chris under control. As for his teammate, Yari Huttonen, the Finn is very familiar to these fast flowing gravel roads. Currently third in the championship, but 11 points behind Chris Ingram. Three stage wins for Yari Huttonen. So after the opening leg of the Junior Championship here, Hudson and Leeds, Ingram second, Philip Mares is third overall. This guy is Oliver Solberg, son of the former world champion in 2003, Petter Solberg. He's only 16 years old. It's only his sixth ever rally. to the main action in ERC2 and Zalindo Malagari from Italy. The 51-year-old driver has been an ERC contender since 1999. However, big moment here on a left-hander, narrowly missing the only tree in the field, plowing his way through the mud to get back onto the uh, stage. That was all on stage number three. Massive moment for him. Ends up the day fifth overall. As for Tibor, he's four points behind Malagari in the championship and he was the title contender in 2014 and 16, but he's much, much closer this year and really enjoying the stages out there. Renis Nitis from Latvia, one of the biggest sports names here in Latvia, usually drives in the rallycross circuit in an Audi supercar. He's only 21 and is making his debut on this event in 2015. As for Yanis Vorboris, another Latvian driver, well-known guy this one, has a tricky job after being first on the road today, but maybe local knowledge is helping him a little bit. He's seventh overall. Back at the top of the field with the Russian rocket, Alexei Lukanuk, started the afternoon in stage four in third position. However, a throttle response problem in stage number five, causing him issues and dropping three minutes as a result of the throttle not responding and having to do another master reset on the Fiesta R5. Absolute disaster for Lukanuk. Had a really terrible season so far. Nikolai Gryzin is out there, another Russian driver. Gryzin has a Latvian driving license, that's why he's got the Latvian flag on the side of his car. But with Lukanuk having problems, Gryzin takes the lead of the rally. The car is prepared by SRT, which is also a Latvian company as well. Okay, it was really uh, fast and very aggressive, so I like it. 
So dry out in the countryside in the afternoon. However, as we switched our attention to the street stage, a heavy rain shower came through La Paya off the Baltic Sea, causing standing water and puddles for our competitors on the 1.69 kilometer street stage. Nikolai Gryazin was through, entertaining the fans. As for Lukanuk, it didn't go well for the Russian. Up on the pavement and then hitting the standing water puddle. It all went terribly wrong for him, crashing out of the rally and shattering his dreams of coming third overall in the ERC Championship for 2017. Next to hit the puddle was Bruno Magalhaes, second in the championship. Into the stage, into the tree. Absolutely shocking and heartbreaking departure for both Bruno and Hugo from their 2017 fairy tale campaign. The car is destroyed. Hugo's okay, but Bruno goes to hospital for precautionary checks. As a result of that, the stage was cancelled. Kaito was back to service. With no close contender, he's crowned the 2017 ERC champion. Uh, we are the champions uh, third time. It's amazing. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Bruno had the crash. I hope he's okay. Uh, I know he's okay, uh, but uh, we were fighting uh, all season. That was a great battle. So it's uh, it was pleasure to fight with him. Uh, we are the champions. Uh, it, I, it's hard to believe. Uh, I can't believe it. We we are going. Uh, to, to, to bed, uh, to sleep, uh, uh, and tomorrow we, we have a rally. Not the way that Kaito wanted to wrap up the season. He wanted to have that fight right down to the wire with Bruno Magalhaes. But in the rally of La Paya, it looks like this. Gryazin's leading, Robin Perez second, Kaitanovic is third in that. Lukasz Havaj from Poland is fourth in the standing. Day one wrapping up here, leg two continues, the final day of the season. Its final six stages in Latvia are coming up in a minute. So, leg two starts in Lapaya on the Baltic Sea coast of Latvia. It's the final day of the season. As the drivers head east inland into the beautiful rolling countryside, it's the classic cloverleaf format. Stage 8, 9 and 10, back to service, and then doing stages again in the afternoon. Heavy, heavy rain overnight. The service park is monsoon-like conditions this morning. And out in the stages, it's equally as bad. The final day of the season. And Yanis for Boris is first on the road. Plowing the Mitsubishi in ERC2 through the Latvian countryside on the loose stuff and getting caught out and into a ditch. The starting order for leg two is the top ten of the rally in reverse order. So for Boris is the first driver on the road today. Unfortunately, he cannot continue as the car is beached. Jose Suarez is next and being warned to slow down on that uh, tricky left-hander. Suarez makes it through. He's pushing hard today. Close battle for fourth position overall with Lukas Havai. We are happy because we have on, on, our, on our look the, the podium overall in, in under 28 for the championship season, so we are happy, so we have to finish before. So Jose Suarez is happy, as for his teammate Pepe Lopez in the Peugeot Rally Academy, the 208 R5, or T16 as it's known as, 
rattling its way through the countryside, but things that are all about to go very, very wrong for Pepe Lopez. Just watch this high-speed moment. Both driver and co-driver are OK, but that's not the way you want to wrap up your weekend here in Latvia, by wrapping it across a field. Left things open then for Polish driver Lukasz Havaj. He was fourth here overnight, but dropped back behind Suarez on stage eight, struggling with electrical issues that caused his engines to stop in the first stage of the day. However, in stage 10, he was 7.1 seconds faster than Suarez, just enough to put him back up to fourth overall in the rally. Yeah, this is really nice stage, really fast. I think most of the time we're running on fifth gear. Uh, I jumped a little bit uh, too much, maybe. There is a, a really big jump uh, in the middle of the stage, but everything is cool. We really take no risk, just trying to have fun. So, the 2017 ERC champion was driving like a man released from the pressure. The title fight is over, so all he needs to do now is enjoy himself and just get stuck into these smooth flowing Latvian stages. Incredible stuff from Kaito, he's back on song. He's been preserving his championship this year, but now he's out for the blocks. Przechodzi nie ciąć sześć prawy ciasny do szczytu. 107 prawy szczytem 80. Nie ciąć ziemia 5 lewy średni woda minus 40. Piano nie ciąć 4 prawy szybki średni szczytem nie wypuść. Szczyt 250. Szczyt lewą 50 mocno skamuj i szczyt piano 40 w dół niesie. 3 lewy szybki długi. Późny nie wypuść. 90. 4 prawy szybki otwarty. I 110 piano schamuj szczyt 20. 4 lewy zacisk przy ciasny przyciąć. To zahacz 4 prawy ciasny do szczytu plus 20. Z uwagą zahacz 3 prawy szybki średni nie wypuść. 130 mocno schamuj. Szykana z drogi. 2 lewy przytul znak błoto. To jeden prawy do trzy lewy, 70 po kuli, sześć lewy śmiało, 100, 7 prawy i 300. We were driving uh, fast, but uh, say it with smile on my face. Uh, there is uh, uh, standing water, some standing water uh, on this stage. Uh, but it's nice, it's good experience, yes, when you are driving uh, 160 and there is in the corner water. Picking up the action back in the stage in the rain on our helicopter camera as it tries to pick up Kale Rovenpera, who's streaking his way across the Latvian countryside. This star is really impressing us here in Latvia, only passing his driving tests last week. He competed on this rally last year. Fastest in stage eight and nine. He's hunting down Gryazin, but dropped back seven seconds in stage 10. Vähän vasen täys, 451, tarvitsi Tolli Hukasta tätä? Joo, aina vaan. Vasen täys, pidä, jatkaa. Pirun pitki oikein täys, miinus. Ja vasen täys, pidä, jatkaa. Pirun pitki oikein täys, miinus, kirraa. 120 yli. Jarru vasen laittaa, sikaani oikein, vasen oikein, nopee. Sikaani oikein vasen oikein nopee. 700. Järkevä jarru oli. Jarru vasen laita, sikaani oikein vasen oikein nopee. Ja sikaani oikein vasen oikein nopee. Kaks.
it wasn't a good good stage for me because I made uh, mistakes and was too careful in a few places. But uh, it's okay. Now we are uh, trying new setups on the car again, and uh, it's going well. Having celebrated his 20th birthday during leg number one, the overnight leader was still out in front in the morning on the final day of the season, but seems to be thriving. Robin Perra forcing him to keep pushing. Second in stage eight and stage nine before upping the pace and finishing stage 10 first fastest. Close call. We hit a little bit uh, uh, chicane, but uh, we are not crash it. It's like we hit the front to right uh, wheel, but we have no, uh, you know, extra, and so it was okay. It's not a penalty, but yeah, but very fun. I like this stage. Uh, so I, oof, no words. So the fight is on between the Russian at the top and the Finnish guy second in the standings, Kajetan Kajetanovic, the three times ERC champion, is third. Who's going to take the top step of the podium on the final round of the season with more stages to go here in Latvia? The battle will commence down to the wire in what has been a really, really tough season. The final three stages of the ERC 2017 are coming up. Welcome back to the final round of the FIA European Rally Championship. We're in La Paya. Rain hasn't stopped play yet. However, before we get stuck into the last stages, as stage 11 was getting underway, there was a serious civilian helicopter incident near the finish. The rescue teams were immediately deployed into the scene to help, and the stage was cancelled. Drivers were rerouted round to stage number 12 and Sergi Remenik was out and on his way. Only three ERC2 leaders made it to the finish of the event. Remenik almost lost the car in the stage today in the tricky conditions. As for Renis Nittis, who we're watching here on board, just paddling the Mitsubishi through the mud. An outstanding performance for him. As for Zalindo Melagari, the ERC2 championship leader, is struggling to fight for the win and the title. Clearly pushing to the finish here against Tibor. Loses control on the final stage of the event. Slides wide and into a ditch. The rally and the championship is over for Zalindo. Great battle with Tibor Erdi all the way through this season. It's been fantastic to watch both of them together. But Tibor, who's been a title contender for the last three years, finally wins ERC2 in the Mitsubishi on the final round of the season. That's crazy. Uh, thanks for my family, my uh, wife, my team and uh, another team uh, the completely here. Uh, this is fantastic uh, feeling. An emotional Tibor at the end of the stage. 
The Hungarian driver finishes the season with 176 points, Melagari on 152, and Remenik in third in the standings at the end of the year. So the four-way fight continues in the under-27 class. The two-wheel drive R2 cars are getting stuck into the final day of the season. As for Yali Hutton, he's nine points behind his Opal team mate and rival Chris Ingram. A talented Finnish star is having fun, but disaster in stage number one of the day in the first stage. Double puncture for him. Struggling, dropping time. Hopes and dreams of the championship are over as he drops down the standings. Local driver and young hotshot is Martin Sex, son of the mayor of Lipai. He's making a real name for himself here. The car bearing the scars of yesterday's big roll. However, it might look rubbish on the outside, but it's performing well on the inside. Mechanically, it's good. Alex Zavada's looking good as well. He has a mathematical chance of winning the championship here, but is struggling on the loose surface. Finishes in fifth and fourth in the standings in the junior championship at the end of it. As for Philip Mares, came to Latvia leading the championship. Gravel isn't his favourite surface, but a solid performance sees him finishing third overall in the under 27 class and third overall in the championship standings. However, narrowly missing a win on the junior championship in 2016, it all went wrong when he retired from the rally last year here. This year, it's going in the right direction for the Opal driver. Absolutely committed to winning it all the way down. He's been brave this weekend. Took the lead of the rally on stage eight. Wins the ERC under 27 class. It's not really sunk in that I've won it yet. Can't describe this feeling. I've been working towards this moment for the last four years in the championship and it's been a hell of a ride and living the dream. I want to thank everyone who's helped me, who helps me continue rallying. Well, winning a fantastic prize package of €100,000 worth of support for his 2018 Chad campaign in an R5 car. Chris Ingram certainly deserves to spray the champagne. A hard fought and well deserved win for the young British driver. Wrapping up the season in the under-27 class, Ingram wraps it up with 139 points. Huttonen on 122. Philip Mares third in the standings with 118 points. For never giving up, Chris was also awarded the Colin McRae Flat Out Trophy for never giving up on winning those title dreams. As for Oliver Solberg in the juniors, big roll for him. Being driven by the very lovely Veronica Elgin. Car looked a bit of a mess, but he made it back. I'm sure we'll see him next year in the Junior Championship. Before the start of Stage 12, the new champion, Kajetan Kajetanovic, withdrew from the event after the helicopter incident involving some of his close friends. A sombre way to end the season for Kaito. As for Jose Suarez, continued to battle for his third place position with Lucas Habay. The Spaniard had a great stage 12 finish, finishing third fastest in the stage. However, Habay pipped him by just 0.2 of a second. With this, we are third overall on the under 28. This is for all my mechanics and Peugeot. It's uh, the less, uh, at least uh, I can give them. So I am happy and proud to work with them and I. We will see what's happening this year. Wukush Habai, with Kaito withdrawing from the rally. Fellow countryman Lukash Habai moved up to third in the standings. Great drive for him this weekend, wrapping up the season. So the rally was really good. It wasn't only this uh, stage and then this loop, but the whole rally for us was, uh, was good. I didn't make any mistakes. As for Calais, Robin Perra, his debut on the ERC. He was pushing Dries in all the way on stage number 12, wanting that win. However, with nothing to lose, he 
just went for it, giving it everything he got, throwing the car around the stages. He was fastest in the final stage of the rally, but it wasn't enough ultimately to win the event. However, a second position on the podium for his first ever international rally isn't so bad, especially considering he only passed his driving test just one week ago. We're going to see great things from this guy in the future. He really is fast. I think uh, on the slow, slow sections and uh, medium roads, this car is really good and I'm driving it, it like it uh, should be. But uh, on the fast roads, I, I have to think something to the car and uh, for my driving style because it's a very different car what I'm used to. But uh, I think this weekend was a really great test race. However, Nikolai Gryzen was fast from the beginning on this event, winning stage one and then showing that he meant business after that one. He was in the fight all the way. While some of his contenders have fallen by the wayside in Latvia, he just keeps going on and on and knows when to respond, attack and tighten his belts just that little bit tighter to commit on this loose surface. Coming into day two, leading the rally. Robin Perra certainly pushed him down to the wire, but wasn't going to let anybody get in his way. Heading for his first ERC victory. Nikolai Gryzin on the latter part of the stage. He wins in Latvia. I'm very happy that we finished without any problems. So thank you very much. Thank you for organizations, for the team and family who comes and friends. So it's no words. <laughs> This season, I mean, if I look back to this season, to the Acropolis rally when your car went on fire, there's been a lot of highs, haven't there? And there's been a lot of lows. Yeah, it was really much uh, crashes, some problems beyond the car. But now, now it's very good. We finished and I'm happy with that. So with Gryzin on the roof of the car to celebrate that sweet taste of success and his first win. Cars prepared by SRT, which is also a Latvian team here. The car that piloted Rafs Simashis to victory last year as well on the same surface. Gryazin wins the event. Rovan Pera second. Lukas Havai was third. Suarez just off that bottom step of the podium, wrapping it up in fourth overall. So back in the service park time as ever to spray the champagne and welcome our new victor of Rally Lapaya home. It's been a dramatic rally. Everybody pushing, everybody responding and attacking. A rally of attrition as ever. You never know what kind of drama you're going to get round the corner on the ERC but at the end of the season Kajtanovic Wins and wraps up the season with 145 points. Magalhaes on 121. Bouffier third in the standings at the end of the year. So the final podium celebrations of 2017. The rain can't seem to dampen the spirits here. Fantastic events, crisscrossing across Europe. We started in March in the Azores, we wrap it up in October in Latvia. The summer sunshine, the heat of battle across Europe. It's been an incredible season, the closest fought fight all year. At the end, Kaito was champion. Marianne Griebel won the under-28 class. The junior championship went to Chris Ingram. Tibor Erdi won ERC2. Tamara Malanaro is now the ERC ladies champion. And Castrol Team Turkey take home the honors. That's it for 2017. We'll do it all again next season.